Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how we can diagnose diseases in plants. You should then be able to describe plant ion deficiency diseases. We've already looked at plant pathogens in a previous video. For example, tobacco mosaic virus is a viral plant disease and rose black spot is caused by a fungus. Plants can also be attacked by bacterial pathogens. Now, there are many examples of plants being attacked by insects, and a good example are aphids, which I'm showing you here. Aphids extract nutrients such as sugars from the plant, stunting its growth. Remember that insects are not a pathogen, as they do not cause an infectious disease, although many insects carry pathogens such as viruses. So there are several ways that we can diagnose plant diseases. As we saw, we can look for insects such as aphids. We can also look for discoloration, spots on leaves, stunted growth, decay or rot, growths, and finally malformed stems or leaves. All of these are potential symptoms of disease, and we can identify the disease in one of three ways. Firstly, we can use a garden manual or a website. We can take the infected plant to a lab to identify the pathogen. And finally, we can use testing kits containing monoclonal antibodies. Now, there is another category of plant diseases, and these are not caused by pathogens. These are called plant ion deficiency diseases, and we're going to look at two examples. It's really important that you learn these examples. Many students don't bother, but it often comes up in exams. A lack of the nitrate ion causes stunted growth. That's because nitrate is needed for protein synthesis and therefore growth. A lack of the magnesium ion causes a condition chlorosis because magnesium is required to make chlorophyll. In chlorosis, the leaves lose their green coloration like this. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on plant diseases in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how we can diagnose diseases in plants. You should then be able to describe plant ion deficiency diseases.